Okay, we are here at Super 8 Motel in Daleville. Fastest Wi-Fi that I've found on the trail so far. Just throwing that out there. All right, we have a hiker. Saw her at um, the day shelter for like three seconds, and then she was gone. And then just yesterday, I was panting up a pasture, and then here comes just like streak out of nowhere, just boom, flew up the mountains, complaining about hiking the wrong way for four miles. So, ladies and gentlemen, Leia. Leia, when did you start the trail? I started February 27th. From Amaclola? Yes. Okay. February 27th. All right. And Leia, because? Uh, because I love Star Wars. I love Harry Potter. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. And, um, okay. Star Wars question. <laughs> Favorite episode? Uh, no. <laughs> there we go. And, um, just, just, uh, I'm guessing it was because you started early and it was night hiking, but how, how did that four miles in the wrong direction back towards Dragon Tooth turn out? Just so that, you know, we don't make that mistake. In that one hour, so I did two miles backwards and then in the same 40 minutes, I guess, my pole broke and my bag ripped. And it was like a really low point and then I spent the next two miles just like saying out loud like how lucky I was and how grateful I was to be out here and then and within 10 miles I hit um, the cream out, yep. however you say it, and then everything was fine from there. So, all good. Learn from your mistakes. Never will happen again. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank you. Probably gonna look like a nut walking around the hotel uh, doing this, but okay. Uh, what Impala was saying was, you know, breathe in with a step, exhale with a step. Breathe in, exhale with a step. Now, you're not gonna do that walking, so it's just like inhale, one, two, exhale, one, two, inhale. One, two, exhale. One, two, with each step. And you know, inhale with three. Exhale. Three, inhale. One, two, three. exhale. One, two, three. And you know, just do that until you can take 10 steps holding, you know, your breath, and then the next 10 steps exhaling. And <coughs> you know when you're when you got your pack on and you're going up a mountain over over rocks you know it's kind of hard to do one two three without you know taking a step to the side or taking a step back or whatnot but um on the flats and on the downhills i was able to understand where he's coming from and um i could see how that will help my uh lung capacity so so that's what it is it's just take a step or two steps, you know, left foot, right foot, inhaling, and then when you take left foot, right foot again, exhale, and do that for a while, and then when you get to, you know, three steps, you know, uh, inhaling, and then three steps, exhaling, and just just keep going up and up, and um, I think he said he's at like 13 or 14, I'm like, Man, I would be blue by then, but um, you know, evidently he's moving a lot faster. So his 14 steps are, you know, in in a matter of seconds. Three pigs, three little pigs in Daleville, bacon cheeseburger. Three hikers get a <clears throat> free bowl of banana pudding when they order here at Three Little Pigs. This is what is this place called? Outdoor Trails. Yeah, Outdoor Trails. It's in the same parking lot as Kroger's and Three Little Pigs here in Daleville. Right up the hill there is where the AT crosses the main road uh, 220 uh, this is your outfitter here in Delville show you what they offer um, getting new shoes boom 
Uh, I've been walking around them in the store for a few minutes and my right foot is instantly feeling better. Um, they apologized we're here a little early in the hiking season, you know. Uh, so their selection, uh, you know, their different sizes of shoes and whatnot aren't built up to what it needs to be. But, you know, we're just going to find what we can find and go with it. But they have everything from packs to tents, sleeping bags, uh, you know, mountain or backpackers pantry, uh, food, Sawyer, full size Sawyer squeezes. So, um, yeah. Era Mitch. The T Aurora Trail. Yeah. Do you want to say anything to your upcoming through hikers? Hope to see everybody here. Come on in. Right. Get you taken care of the best we can. Again, thank y'all for the help and the assistance oh, yeah. um, yeah, no finding some shoes, man. In Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee border, Tennessee, Virginia, and we are here now, Troutville, Daleville. And we still got to go all the way through Virginia, hit West Virginia, Maryland, Rocksylvania, Clip, New Jersey, New York, Corner, Connecticut, up through Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and... Man. So yeah, uh, 1,460 miles to go to Maine. We've gone 726-ish. Probably a little more. Those numbers aren't, those ch they change every year. We're coming out of Daleville and we run into a Sobo. Sobo for life. Flicker. Hi. I'm sure everyone's heard of Flicker by now. We all have. And uh, <laughs> you started from where and when did you start? I started at Katata in July 17th, it was. And then. Of last year? Of last year. Okay. Yeah. And I went home for a little bit because I was really cold. And now I'm back and finishing. Well, you got 700 and maybe 30 miles. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the the name Flicker from Flicker. I went swimming. I came out with leeches, and I freaked out and said ew ew ew, and I went pow, and they went shoom, and that's how I got Flicker. I flick oh. leeches. <laughs> leeches. Well, okay. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another southbound for this year, Flicker. Here's the trail logic I can approve of. You can't quit today. You can quit tomorrow. But at midnight, tomorrow becomes today. And you can't quit today. You can quit tomorrow. It makes perfect not sense. That was good. It's too deep. So this is why they call them trail runners. Because you get to run on the trail with them. Whee! How are those new shoes treating you, Quinn? They're good. Yours? Oh, they're great. Yeah, look at those puppies. If you can see them, if they're in frame, if I don't fall off a mountain, no, this is great. Uh, we're about three miles from a shelter. We got to go up this. I just hit myself in the head with a trekking pole. We got to go up this thing to our right. We're expecting here in a minute. So that's going to slow us down. But we're speeding up down this hill. We have an Appalachian Trail tsunami. And here we have a Johnny Tsunami. Uh, when did you start the trail, Johnny? January 24th. January 24th. Yeah. And they call you Johnny Tsunami? Yeah. Why? Well, it's, a, it's a long story. I got I the, uh... 20 minutes. <laughs> section hiker. Uh, we were walking, we were hiking together after NOC, and there was like, a huge storm. And he was set up his camp and he's like, you going forward. And it's like, it was like four miles. He still had the time. He still had my like 
60 pounds on my back. Mm -hmm. I was just going for it. So then after that, we kind of like hiked for a couple days, whatnot. And at the end of, right before he left, he's like, all right, I'll see you later, Tsunami. So I just started calling, he called Tsunami. And then I met in the Smokies, Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> uh, and we were and uh, kind of just like got real quiet. And I was we were Mac Daddy. He's a wicked, wicked cool guy. I was like, "What's up, Nige?" And he's like, "Yeah, your name's not complete. It's uh, Johnny Tsunami." So after that, it's, it's been Johnny Tsunami. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> True. Venomous. My, my buddy owns snakes and he hates when people say poisonous snakes. What is it? What is it? It's like tomato, tomato. No. Poisonous and venomous are two different things. Yeah. Quinn and Johnny just explained to me what Indian running is. Pretty awesome. We've been doing it for about a mile or so. It's interesting. It's different. Okay, okay, okay. And we look to our left and we're like, hold up. View. Sunset, it's going down behind that ridge, lighting up the mountains. We'll get to camp before dark, but yeah, sometimes you just gotta stop and take a take a minute. <laughs>